Hey everyone, I'm Anesha from IBM, and in this video, I'll be introducing you to Watson Studio. To get started with Watson Studio, first let's navigate to www.ibm.com slash cloud slash Watson Studio in your browser. So what exactly is Watson Studio? Watson Studio is an integrated environment designed to make it easy to develop, train, manage models, and deploy artificial intelligence-powered applications. It allows you to easily find and deliver insights in your data, whether you are a developer, data analyst, business analyst, or data engineer. The UI is intuitive enough that you can do all of this without any programming, in fact. The whole package is a software-as-a-service solution delivered on IBM Cloud. IBM Cloud refers to the complete suite of cloud computing services offered from IBM. Watson Studio is the interface that we use to access Watson Machine Learning, which is the underlying service on IBM Cloud with features for training and deploying machine learning models and neural networks. So in this video, I will show you how to get started with this website and set up everything you need to get started with exploring data. So the first step will be logging into IBM Cloud. You should already have an IBM Cloud account. If not, create one before continuing with this tutorial. We will click this button to log in. After logging in, we are taken to this landing page. On this landing page, we can see any projects that we have already created, along with any Watson services that we already have in our IBM Cloud account. We can easily connect these services to our projects. Below that, we have several links to things such as documentation, blog posts, and articles about Watson Studio. If we go up to this top bar, we can see links to projects, tools, community, services, documentation, and more. Let's first start by creating a project. We click this link, create a project. We can now see many different options that allow us to automatically provision the required services for different kinds of projects. Don't worry, you can add services to any project later on if you're not sure which one to pick. Clicking these options automatically provision light level plans for the services mentioned. In this example, let's click data engineering. This will automatically create cloud object storage for us that stores our project assets. We see here an option to restrict who can be a collaborator on this project. Watson Studio projects can be collaborative, but for this demo, we won't have collaboration. As you can see, we have already automatically created the cloud object storage and it is selected for us here. Let's click Create. Now that we've created our project, we can see an overview page. To the left, we can see storage, and this refers to the cloud object storage we have automatically created. Cloud object storage is a flexible and scalable storage for unstructured data provided by IBM Cloud. Let's add services to our project. Right now, it's just an empty project, and it doesn't have the capability to do anything. Once we add services to it, we can use Watson Studio UI to access those services. We first click the Settings tab, which shows us information about the project. If we scroll down, we see a section called Associated Services. We can use this to create services or link existing ones. Clicking the Add Service button, let's click on Watson. Now we can see a list of services we can create, all related to artificial intelligence, grouped under the Watson category. Today we will click Machine Learning and select Add. We now specify pricing, region, and eventually click Create. In this example, we are showing the free tier. When we click Create, we have the opportunity to select region, plan, resource group, and rename the service. Once it's completed, we can now see our newly created machine learning service under Associated Service. Watson Machine Learning is what will be doing the underlying machine learning when we decide to create models with our data. So speaking of data, 
how do we load in our data? Well, Watson Studio includes a powerful and flexible tool to analyze, refine, and profile your data from a variety of sources with an intuitive UI. To begin, in the top corner, we can click Add to Project. Let's click Data Asset to add our data. We can now upload a CSV file that contains our data. Now that we've finished uploading our file, let's view it. When we click the Assets tab, we can see our data assets. As you can see, we can view the heart rate data CSV file that we've just uploaded. If we click the Actions tab, we now have the opportunity to refine our data using Data Refinery. This UI is called Data Refinery. From here, we can refine our data. We can easily transform large amounts of data into consumable quality information with Data Refinery. As you can see, we can easily see our CSV file and the different columns and values. We can use operations to do things like extract data. We can also cleanse our data such as removing empty row or removing duplicates. We can organize our data, concatenate, join columns. We can easily get visualizations of our data if we click the Profile tab. Now we can easily see statistics about each column, such as the mean, minimum. We can see this for all the categories. We also have a Visualizations tab where we have the opportunity to build visualizations. For example, what if we want to build a histogram with our data? We can easily create histograms of the different columns. When we are finished making changes to our data, we can hit Save. Going back to our project, we can later go back to our project page. So now that we have set up a project with heart rate data, what can we do with it? Well, in the next video, we will be going into how to use your newly set up project to actually create a model and solve a problem related to this heart rate data that you've just uploaded.